are new of okay <laughs> I gonna open a new file, okay. and I just gonna copy the basic syntaxes. I'll write this syntax, okay? I'm going to save this. What is Gemma? You can see right on the last. I'm going to give it as uh, CSS introduction. Okay. Now, I'm going to give a comment over here. Types of CSS. What are all the different types you have? Inline CSS, external CSS, and internal CSS. Inline? Internal. Internal? external okay what are these things is going to do i will write like uh tell you what are all the uh, things how one thing is different from other okay i'm gonna take a ht element and i'm gonna write this is inline styling okay i'm gonna execute this now you have this hmm? now we'll, we are talking about inline it is going to have an attribute called as style attribute okay now you can write your css properties color red the color has been changed to red okay and if you want to keep on adding you can add your properties over here okay like uh background color color of yellow okay you so can see here we can't type the pg color cms because we are used to native html pg color that is like all properties you cannot use it okay these are all css properties that that is html property okay that we cannot we should not use Okay, when it comes to stylings, you should always write in CSS. Okay. These are all the CSS properties you are going to have. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you want to keep on adding, you're going to add a uh, semicolon and you keep on adding other properties. How many properties we have written here? Two. Two. Two properties. Right. Okay. Color and background color we have done. We are used. And if you try to check, this style is an attribute. This color is an property name. Okay. Value. This is going to be the value. Okay. Next. I have like uh, some H3 tag. Think that I have some H3 tag. Okay. I want to style these elements. How am I going to do it? This is, sorry. Writing style. Yes, I'll make it as internal styles. Okay. Now I want to. Uh, this is like inline. See, I what I'm gonna do is I'll like like make uh see the same H2 I'm gonna write again. Okay. If you want to like 
add this i want to write again the style properties okay for the same h2 see the lines of code has been increasing okay for the same h2 for the same heading i am writing the styles again the same properties again okay is it increasing the lines of code or not it is increasing okay so uh, now what i going to do is if think that you have 10 h2s in your page okay for all the h2s you need to apply the same properties then what you are going to do are you going to write uh, the styles like this is this the right way of writing the code it should not be the case okay here comes the principles okay uh, there is a principle called as kiss k i s s okay keep it simple stupid okay you go go back and try to see what it is they are telling okay read that principle okay that means you should not repeat your code again and again okay next now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write my internal stylings how i'm going to write my internal stylings inside my head tag you're going to use style now what is this style is a tag now here style is an attribute here style is a tag okay inside this style now you can write your properties okay you can write your css but how okay uh, to which element you are going you need to write you need to select that element right okay see when it comes to css it is going to completely when it comes to what is the building blocks of html building blocks of html the first day we have discussed about it for backup yesterday also we have discussed building blocks of html tags elements and attributes okay when it comes to css we have select arts and properties okay now how to select this particular element i want to style this element but how i need to select it right before like uh, writing my styles so that i gonna write h3 open flower brackets and close flower brackets okay now i gonna write my properties over here okay i can like add your properties now i gonna reload this is internal styling okay now i need to style it color of here inside this h3 color of blue okay. i'm gonna give background color background color color of orange okay something is wrong. Huh. close Okay. Now, if you reload the page, the styles has been applied. Okay. See, think that I have the same H3 again. I want the same properties. Now, what are you going to do? Am I going to write uh, the styles again? No. Okay. Once I have written, it's going to apply for all the H3 elements. Okay. Any doubts? Uh, only the heading which one yeah for the body part also for body part also like this is not use the attribute sir i mean the h3 which the heading right so we are writing it on heading and if we are writing a paragraph also write on the yeah everything continuously see think that you have one more element over here we tag Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just keep on adding my styles inside this style tag. It should be inside that style tag. Okay. P. Open flower close brackets. Now you can add your properties. Whatever. Like um, border of two px solid green. Okay. The styles has been applying. Got it. 
next now i uh, will go with internal any doubts in inline or internal you have doubts all right spell it out yeah difference i'll tell you okay see uh, the same properties you are applying for h2 right yes, sir. how many times you the same properties how many, again is is there any requirement of writing no, no right see if, if you are going to write in inline stylings okay for each and every element you need to write in that particular line or else it is not going to apply okay but when it comes to internal all together commonly we are going to right. write okay thing that uh, i need to teach you okay which is the best way if i it is like uh, to each and every individual if i teach is that okay or keeping you all together if i teach that is the best way which one keeping everyone together. together that is what this internal is going to do okay Comb combining everything and it is going to uh, give you the at the uh, give you the silence okay next నువ్వు <laughs> ఇంటర్నల్సెన్స్ట్ all the css in a specific uh, portion inside the page itself when it comes to external we are taking another complete page and we are writing all our styles over there okay i going to take a new file over here okay now what i going to do is i going to save this i going to save this as styles style.css when it comes to css the extension should be css when it comes to javascript the extension should be dot js not javascript okay dot css okay now you can write your styles okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to like add one more thing over here i'm going to add a div over here this is external styles okay now i'll write some styles for it a uh, div for div right how we are selecting using the tag name okay now how we are writing in the i mean in internal the same way the same format you can follow here there is no changes or differences okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some color to it color of uh tell me on color green okay now i'm going to say this now if you try to see here can you see the green color applied here no, no. why font size of i'm going to give some 30 pixels okay, because the page is not linked in in our html page how to link that okay using link attribute there is an attribute called as link okay it should be given inside the head tag okay and rel is equals to rel refers to relationship okay what is the relationship of that particular page style sheet it we are telling uh, style i mean what is the relationship okay we are not linking it here okay href now you can link your page here okay what is a page there 
style dot css now i'm going to save this and if i try to reload my page you can see the properties is applying okay how to link just using the tag called as link tag okay and rel refers to relationships what is the relationship over there okay type with the specs like right type with the yes okay. okay we are telling what the relationship uh, for, to that page okay style sheets and it comes to href style dot we are linking the page okay next we are, now here you are like uh, free to write all your stylings out there now you can keep on writing your stylings if you have p you can like write p okay uh for this p tag we already have p tag right for this i'll just like add a font size or else what we have or we can i can give some background color background color of yellow, yellow or brown Yes, sir. You understood the difference between inline, internal, and external. Yes, sir. Okay. Any any doubts in that? So, for example, if we have five page two, and for four we want the same uh, design, mm -hmm. but for one we want different. Mm -hmm. So then, which which one will you? Yeah, I'll try to we'll try to discuss this. Okay. Now, you uh got I mean, you are aware of I mean, uh, the three types. All right. now we'll try to go with the basic selectors okay what is we are like uh, what is uh, css contains it is going to be like selectors as well as properties <coughs> properties and selectors contains selectors and properties now how to write these properties now before that we'll try to talk about selectors okay first we'll try to talk about the basic selectors we have and i'll take a new file And I'll copy paste all this, and I'll remove everything from here. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna say this as basic selectors. Dot HTML. Okay, I'm gonna keep this link as it is, so that I can write my styles over there. This page also is linked to to that particular CSS. Now I can I remove this basic CSS. Like this. Try right to check what are all the basic selectors we have. Tag selector. Before that, we have. Universal selector, universal, or also we can call it as global selector. Okay. Next we have um, ID selector, and we have class selector. Yeah, grouping will write like that. Discuss later. For now, it is like okay. Okay, I will write like that. Also, talk about grouping selectors also. Okay, these are all the basic selectors we can uh, talk today. So select one. To select some particular element, what is shy? If he wants to pick shy, how can I pick? Selecting. Selecting your name. Okay. Now uh, here we have people. in here we have elements right to select the particular element what we need to do we need to select how we are what are we, there are different ways to select what are all the possible ways we'll try to like discuss one by one by one okay first we will try to talk about these selectors okay first universal selector how we are, what is this universal selector how we are going to represent this now or also we call it as global selector before jumping into it when it comes to this inline internal and external okay which do you think is a preferred way external external internal internal okay the always the preferred way is external okay if you are having a less number of lines of code then you can use like okay internal okay then apart from that if you are working uh, real time 
always go with external okay now i gonna like uh, show you something from our like uh, previous page okay now for my h2 i have a h2 over here right now for the same h2 i gonna write uh, a few styles over here okay what are all the styles i have written here the same styles i'll try to write okay i gonna write the color color i gonna give blue over here what is the color i have given out there i have given red okay i have given blue here background color i gonna give some uh black okay now the same styles i gonna copy and i gonna paste in my styles as well understood what exactly i was trying to do now which one uh, do you think the the which color is do you think it is going to apply which color blue and black okay how many do you think like blue and black which one it is going to apply any guesses like this blue and black okay we are like uh, given blue and black here right so i'm gonna change it over here i'm gonna give some uh violet okay background color of gray okay i have for the same element i have given three different colors okay which one it is going to apply now okay the if you try to check you are you have said uh, it is going to apply these colors okay. external okay but if you try to have a look over here which it is applying inline, inline. okay here comes the priority okay out of this inline internal and external the always of uh, first priority goes to inline next internal next external okay now i'll try to like show you how it is uh, applying h2 right this one see this priority plays very important role see which one it is applying over here red and yellow color okay now i'll try to check i, I mean uh, uncheck this now which one do you think the preference goes to this is internal okay the preference goes to now see if you try to check the internal has been changed okay now i'll try to like uncheck this as well now the preference goes to external okay now you understood the, the hierarchy right hierarchy as well as the priority the highest priority always goes to inline but we should never prefer uh, inline stylings we should never write inline stylings okay in like uh, out of 100% you can like write it in un, if there is no another chance in that scenario you can like at one or two properties apart from that you should not write okay in real time if someone sees you writing like inline they like just uh, scold you like anything sorry because i was just just targeting for this l h2 okay if you like check this it is going to change okay now we'll go with selectors basic selectors first universal selectors how you are going to represent this i guess the first 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 in like the priority the second one was external i guess on this style.css here wrote uh, violet and uh, okay we'll check it this is this is like external okay this is inline okay now uh, i'm going to like uncheck this which one it is applying external oh what is happening i mean maybe some syntax error H2, right? Or yeah. the blue color. And here we have violet and gray. <clears throat> color blue, background color black. This 
it is applying to external why oh this is not not even applying so something is gone wrong link uh this this is external it's a div this div it is applying so let's check div is applying so why these cells are not applying i'll just uncheck this now it is applying uh, blue and black okay <clears throat> Need to uncheck this. It is applying preference goes to. Okay. I think some things we well have done some other. Either the closing or something it is going to be. P, 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 and inline internal and external style color. This is fine. This is weird. Okay, uh, but uh, this is not the case. It always preference goes to something is happening out here. I will check this. Okay, uh, first always goes to inline, internal, and external. That is the format. Okay, I mean I think some uh, we have uh, not done some closings or something. That may be the issue. Okay, uh, don't worry about it. I'll like uh, sort that out. Next, <clears throat> now when it comes to uh, this select cards, okay. First, what are the selectors you are going to have? Universal selectors. Okay, what is this? How we, it is going to represent? If you try to say, you it is going to represent using star. Okay, open floor brackets and close floor, floor brackets. Now, if you try to check, you can add your properties. Okay, you can give font size or anything, or else I'm uh, gonna give some um, background color. Okay, background. Color of red. Now, if you try to check what this is going to do, oh, this, we haven't executed this. Okay. Now, what exactly is going to happen? It is going to see when it comes to this universal selector, if you want to apply a common styles for the complete page, okay, then you can use this. Universal, universal selector okay if you want to use in which scenarios you are going to use this okay font uh, family okay in the whole page you are going to use the same font family in that scenarios you can write this use this universal selector okay so it is going to apply for all the things next I'll just like uh, remove this background color. <clears throat> Next, uh, tag selector. We have already seen tag selector. How we are going to write tag selector? Using the tag name. Okay, what is the tag names? Anything. Okay, we'll go with like uh, touch code. Okay, this is tag selector. Okay, if you try to like have a look, it is tag selector. Now you can write the style in choosing H4. This we call it as tag selector. Okay, color red. Just Thank you. 
Yeah. H4. Okay. Now uh, the tag selector is also done. Now we'll go with ID selector. What is an ID and what is a class? Okay. When it comes to this class and ID, to select that particular elements, we are going to use this class and ID. Okay. So you think that uh, how it is going to act when it comes to ID, it is going to be unique. Think that uh, it is like our Aadhaar card. Okay, which is going to have unique number for is that uh, once you have your Aadhaar card number, is there any chance of like uh, having the same Aadhaar card number in this country? No. Okay. The same thing happens with ID as well. We should once you have used your that particular ID name, you should not reuse that again. Okay, it should that is why we call it as ID. It should be unique. Okay, but when it comes to class, that is not the scenario. You can use the same class name how many times you want. That is like uh think that Ramesh, how many Rameshes will be there in this country? A lot. You can use many. Okay, in the same way, this class and ID comes into picture. How we are going to use this? How we are going to write this? If you try to have a look at here. Think that for this H4. Now here, this we call it as attributes, yeah. right? Now I'm gonna write this ID. ID is equals to I'm gonna give some name over here. I'm gonna give it as this is a, a H4 element. So I'm gonna give it as any name, but it should the relevant the ID name should be relevant to it. Okay. If someone sees at that particular ID, they should understand what exactly this is referring to. Okay. I'm gonna give it as H4. Now what I'm going to do is I want to select this particular element using this ID, right? Now how I'm going to use this? What is the syntax for it? In the using hash. Hash represents ID. Whenever you see hash, it represents ID, and with the ID name. What is the ID name over here? Head four. Open brackets and close flower brackets. And you can add your properties over here. Okay, I'm gonna give color. I have already given the color for it, H4. Again, I'm gonna give the color. Color of orange. Which one do you think it is going to take? Orange. Orange. Why, sir? Because I added ID. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is going to apply orange because ID. Apart from all the selectors, ID is going to have the highest priority because of this of its uniqueness. Okay, it is going to have high, highest priority. Next, we can also have class. Class is equals to you can have a tag. This is a tag selector, so I'm going to give it as, or else I'm going to have head class. Okay. Now I need to select this particular element using class selector. Using class represents dot dot class name. What is the class name? Head class. Class is head class. Okay. Now if you have a look at it, it's going to. I'm going to give some border search. Solid red. Okay, I will change the color to green. Okay, if I give the color as well, again here, color of blue, I have given the color. Now, which one do you think it is going to apply? It is going to apply ID. Okay, now if you uncheck this, Now, if you uncheck this, then blue is going to take priority because of its class. Okay, thing that you have given for H4 as well. Okay, tag tag selector. Right? Again, if you uncheck this, then the tag selector is going to take priority. Okay, first priority goes to ID, ID. class, and tag. Okay. Here also the priority matters a lot. Okay. Now I think you understood what is this uh, class ID and 
universal selector okay now we'll go with grouping selector what is grouping selector okay grouping selector is nothing but in the name itself two uh, multiple elements if you want to apply the same property then you are going to use this grouping selector how see for all the elements see thing that i have h4 here and i'm going to add some p tag this is para and i'm going to add division as well this is the okay we have all the elements over here now what i want is for all these elements i want to apply this same properties yeah why it is applying tell me okay because of its reference from style.css okay now what i want is i want uh, all this font size to be same then i going to use grouping selector now mm -hmm. now i was not going to like uh, for each and every selector i am not going to like select it and i want for each and every individual i was not going to like specific color i mean font size okay now here comes the grouping selector okay now what i going to do is for all my uh, h4 space sorry comma p and div <coughs> Okay, now I'm gonna add my font size. Font size of I'm gonna give some 30 px. Now, if you try to read it, understand what exactly is happening over here? Uh, for all the elements, same, same size. Okay, I'm gonna give some background color as well. Save, reload. Okay, the same background color is applying. Why is not? Why it is not applying? Because you understood. You understood. Because it is taking the priority from here. From not the external, we have used for this p tag, uh, for p tag, right? For p here, they have given brown color. Okay, so it is going to take PR. Okay, it is going to apply this background color. Okay, that is going to take PR, and it is going to apply. <coughs> Next, that is why it is applying next uh, next uh, these are you are going to like add your grouping selectors using comma uh, using the tag names or else you can also use this like uh, head head class head class is for uh, h4 right instead of h4 i'm gonna use dot head four okay either it is going to be class name or either it is going to be id name you can use it over there Okay, it's not a blank. Like for, they are already given some color. Oh, and it is ID. So we can give, we need to give hash. Okay, it is a blank. Okay, any doubts in this? It's a tag. It's for H4. Yeah. Uh, this one? It's for sets. In e background color. Yes, sir. This is where we are linking this page, right? It is linking to this external CSS. Here, this this color is applying over there. Understood? It's a link. It's See, if I remove this particular link, it is going to apply now. What is your doubt? It's not applicable to only for. Priority. That is what the priority matters here. 
ipudu external it is not like it is going to take uh, it is going to apply if you have given external it is going to apply no that is not the scenario what the scenario here, here is it is going to work, work on priorities okay you should understand the priority okay if you have inline internal and external which one is going to take high priority inline okay see inline internal external this is going to take first priority okay think that you have h2 okay you have written inline internal external the three things okay this always takes high priority if you don't have this one then this is going to apply okay this is or if you are written only internal and external this is going to take priority okay if this is also not there then we need to have external but what is the preferred way to write external. always the external okay because here comes the principle soc separation of concern okay that means sugar should be in sugar box salt should be in salt box in the sense html should be only html css should be css okay next this is for this priority when it comes to this uh, selectors class id and tag selector uh, anything okay in this one whatever the selector it is going to be id is going to take priority okay next it is going to go with class and then it is going to go with tag selector okay we have like a few more selectors okay we'll try to talk about this okay we have combinator selectors pseudo selectors no selector is internal right selector is internal oh no, that is not the case you can also use that in uh, external also selector is nothing but it is not it is going to be internal or external it is just to select the element understood any doubts like it uh -huh. in this case so it is giving priority to external selectors no in grouping selectors we have in this grouping yes. it is grouping so we have specifically mentioned some class to it so that is going to take a uh, priority yeah, but for the paragraph uh -huh. the paragraph is mm -hmm. taking time but uh, this one is like this is going on the same page the right? html page so mm -hmm. this is internal mm -hmm. but uh, it's not taking internal as the priority it's taking external. but uh, but the thing over there is uh, for specifically we are like mentioning for it so, okay if in grouping selectors if the, apart from this if you are like given some cells okay that is going to take high priority okay specifically mentioning right here it is grouping in common if you are like specifically mentioning to it then that is going to take care okay next now today what you are going to do is you go through this all this internal what is inline internal and external and also all these what are the selectors we have discussed you need to have some examples okay i'll give a, a small layouts to you okay and today is friday right so tomorrow you are not going to have any class tomorrow you are going to have an exam like up to now what we have done we are going to have a few exam i mean uh, the basic exam okay uh, prefer, prepare for that and also i gonna share uh, a few templates a small templates using the selectors you can just build it okay you need to like uh, go through the properties okay if you want to send the text what you are going to want which property you are going to use there is an element a property called as text align i can use center okay there are lot of properties okay you need to like explore those properties okay you need to uh, but by the end of the day you need to like complete the task okay you need to like use all these selectors okay understood then with the example thing huh that will be like uh either 10 or 11 okay
I'll just update that in the group. No issues. Okay. The exam will be like uh, the exam task also will be like given in in the uh, group itself. Okay. You can complete it uh, there as well.